We had a playgroup, a Cook Island playgroup that was under the church, and then, but it wasn't going anywhere. So we decided we want to be a licensed centre. We were thinking of our Cook Island children out there, not accessing to any early childhood, just staying home. So we thought, no, we're going to move on. That's when we approached the Ministry of Education that we wanted to become licensed. Then they were asked to find an organisation that knew what they were doing, they knew something about establishing a service, and so they chose the Wellington Free Kindergarten Association to work with. The Kindergarten Association had a, over 100 years of experience in early childhood education, but um, most kindergarten teachers look like me. Um, and we were very European. So it was about taking kindergarten expertise and the expertise of the communities and coming together to do something really special for children, which is what, what happened. It derived from three play groups, from the Cook Islands community to Wallow community and also the New Air community. The key strategies are about nurturing community, um, engagement with community, um, nurturing high quality early childhood education and extending um, our services to encapsulate as many um, communities as possible. In June 2010, on the 8th of June, that's when we opened. Well, the association has sort of a governance board that covers over 85 services. Um, to refer to as, as one of them. Um, and so how that sort of works is we provide that sort of strategic overview, work with the, the staff and um, provide some input into the running of those services. The whole association strategic plan set by the board. It gives it a direction. It means people have security. They know what's, what's going to be expected. Uh, it means that families can see before deciding where they want to send their children, what the plan is, what people want their children to participate in, where they, they can see that the kindies direction is going. If we're looking at it from a strategic point of view, it does sort of improve around the the quality of our effectiveness and our relationships in the community, so I think yeah. that's really important. Yeah. There's good Pacific participation in the process from families bringing their children to the centre and then um, involved in the actual teaching and learning and then also at the governance level as well. Seeing all that they provide for my family and the benefits that I can see directly impacting on my children and me and that how that affects the wider community is something you just want to be a part of and the fact that they say a community representative is exactly what they need and to get as many as they can, you know, to represent their areas was really important, so I thought they made it easy. Kindergarten's always had a really strong connection. It's always been nestled in its communities. Um, as communities have changed, then kindergarten needed to change as well. So, you know, Toru Fetu is a really great example of 21st century kindergarten. I love her. I love her, like this. One of the, the good things is that there's a, you sort of observe the kids um, and you, you sort of feel that that's the next generation coming through. So it, being able to be part of a team that's sort of worked up, um, over this over a long time, um, it's, it's, you sort of feel, well, you've played a role. Toru Fetu is, is so important and so special um, because it really is an example of how the, the elders of, of different communities, of the Pacific communities, have worked together with a Palangi organisation to create something really special and relevant for Pacific children. It's shown what's possible if everybody acts as a community of mutual respect and understands that we all have a contribution to make if we really care about children.